Hello all, this video is on speech recognition module from Seed Studio. This module is called Grow Seed Studio module and it can be used in design for voice control applications like smart home and robotic control. It has a built-in mic and then speaker out is there. You can re recognize up to 22 preloaded voice commands. The speaker is optional and you can connect directly a speaker or with the amplifier. It is built on ISD9160 Novaton Cortex M0 core chip processor and uh, no external library is required. This processor can uh, transmit predefined code that is uh, uh, corresponding to the recognized voice command through the serial port of Arduino. It can be connected with Arduino or Raspberry Pi and to the left hand side there is a connector and a four wire uh, rally mate connector is provided it can be easily connected with the grow shield but uh, we do not have the shield so we will be using male to male jumper wires to connect with the Arduino to the right hand side is the omnidirectional mic and a two pin connector to connect the speaker you can either directly connect the speaker or through an amplifier it has also got 2 MB flash uh, uh, memory let us connect the speaker to the connector and the, the four wire connections black is ground and uh, red is positive we can take the power supply from Arduino no separate power source is required and the white wire is the RX wire that goes to TX of Arduino and the yellow wire is the TX wire which goes to the RX of Arduino as we are using software serial we'll, we are connecting it to D2 and D3 let us connect the Arduino to PC and this is the setup simple connection. Let us visit the Grow Speech Recognizer website specifications. The module is built on ISD9160 which is Cortex M0 core chip and the mic used is omnidirectional mic. If you scroll down to the uh, uh, spec you can see the voltage. Uh, recommended voltage it can operate up to 5 volt 3 to 5 volt is the range only this 22 predefined commands it can work on and the default baud rate is 9600 further scroll down to see all the specifications the voltage range is 3 to 5 volt operating current is only in milliamperes and the uh, flash is 2 megabytes mic is omnidirectional and uh, cortex m0 chip and the frequency of the processor is 32 megahertz for the scroll down you can see that it requires a wake up command it is called high cell you have to initially tell high cell to wake up the module and a red light will glow and if the command is recognized you can see a blue light so initially you have to uh, you have to train with the module for the high cell that is a wake up command and these are the 22 commands 1 to 22 predefined commands for example turn on the light is 1 turn off the light is 2 play music 3 pause 4 and then uh, for uh, motor commands uh, left is 16 right 17 so according to these commands this single character will be returned so the code reads a single character from the serial port which represents the predefined uh, code from the ISD9160. Now let us see the sample code provider. Here you can see no special libraries are used, only the software serial library. The software RXTX pins are defined as 2 and 3 and the software serial object is created. And then an array called voice buffer which stores pointers to the constant character strings that is the commands this voice buffer array is optional even without this this code will work and within the void setup we start the software serial and listen to the port and within void loop we check for the uh, serial uh, data and it is assigned to the char variable cmd and we use cmd minus one as the array indexing is starts from zero we use minus one so that the correct character number is assigned so copy this code to the Arduino save this select correct board and the COM port and then upload the code 
open the serial monitor and select the baud rate is 9600. Now let us uh, wake up the module by telling high cell. You can see the red light once it wakes up. Serial monitor is 9600. Uh, so let us train one by one the code and before that you have to tell high cell high cell which is the wake up command high cell turn on the light, turn on the light. red LED high cell high cell high cell high cell turn off the light, turn off the light. high cell High cell. And then the command. Start. Blue light. High cell. Stop. So it works on wake up and then the command is recognized. Now let us connect an LED to D7 through a resistor and let us control the LED. For Before that we have to do some slight modification in the code. Let us uh, define the LED pin as uh, 7. Int LED equal to 7 scroll down to wide setup using pin mode let us declare it as output and initially let us make it as off using digital write and inside the void loop after you receive the command that is serial port assigns a command when it re receives a command that number is stored in uh, character cmd variable and if that command has a value of one that is if you tell turn on the light the value 1 will be assigned so if it is 1 it will recognize that it will turn on the light so we have to make the uh, digital pin 7 as high so that LED will be on and if you receive the command as 2 that is CMD has a value of 2 you should make it as off that is turn off the light so make it as uh, digital right low so that LED is off so this is the more simple modification in the code save this and then upload the code to the Arduino. Now let us wake up. High cell. High cell. Turn on the light. High cell. High cell. Turn off the light. So this is how the model works. Next uh, we shall see a practical demo of uh, how to control uh, home devices for this we will be using a relay module let us remove the d7 wire that is connected to led and we will be triggering this uh, relay module this relay module is single relay module it is enabled high so when high is given to in this relay will be on it has got uh, three pins at the left side that is v and g is for uh, supply and in is the trigger point there are also low enable relays here we are using high enable that is when high is applied this relay will be on to the right hand side is the contacts all relays they have three contacts the one is a common one is the nc normally closed and the another one is no normally open generally load is connected to no normally open to the left hand side v pin let us connect to 5 volt we can supply from arduino g is to ground and the in pin is connected to d7 previously it was connected to led now let us remove that wire and connect to in pin of the relay that is a trigger pin high enable so when high is applied relay will be on to the right hand side three pins nc is not used to the common pin let us connect the positive supply positive here we used is 7.4 volt supply as the bulb load is 6 to 9 volt and uh, to the NO always we connect the load so one end of the bulb is connected to NO and the other end is connected directly to negative the same way we can also use for AC load so at the common pin uh, we will be connecting the AC phase and to the NO pin uh, through the load the other end will be connected to neutral so we can operate either DC loads or AC loads it is irrespective of the it is uh, from the initial voltages that is left hand side and right hand side it is totally isolated let us connect the common pin to positive supply and the NO one wire is connected to the bulb 
that is the one wire of the bulb is connected to no other wire of the bulb directly goes to uh, negative so when a trigger is applied from uh, d7 that is the in pin the relay will be on and uh, we'll just short the no and the c to see whether the bulb is uh, operating so this is how it works let us remove the uh, wire from uh, d7 uh, where led was connected previously and connected to the relay in we'll be taking supply from the arduino itself ground should be common that is high cell high cell turn on the light high cell high cell turn off the light so it is operating thank you for watching